Right, we got another space video, the largest black hole in the universe size comparison. Let's jump straight into this. I'm an absolute space nerd. I'm looking forward for this, man. The largest things in the universe are black holes. Right. In contrast to things like planets or stars, they have no physical size limit. I already know this is going to blow my mind. Grow endlessly. Although okay. in reality, specific things need to happen to create different kinds of black holes, from really tiny ones to the largest single things in the universe. So how do black holes grow? And how large is the largest They're so of so weird. This video will not discuss how black holes work or how they form, since we've looked at that in detail right, in our okay, black yep, hole and yep. neutron star series. I actually do have like a little video on that, to be fair. For now, we're interested in finding the largest thing in the universe. It was, uh, what was the video called again? It was called, uh... Oh, Journey Through Time. And it spoke a lot about black holes. It was really good. Such a good... Let's uh, start I was really, going to say movie. Really it was pretty small. much like a movie. Primordial black holes. The smallest kind of black holes may or may not exist. If they do, they're probably the oldest objects in the universe, older even than atoms. They would have formed just after the Big Bang, when the universe was so dense with violent energy that any tiny pocket that was just slightly more dense than its neighbors could produce a black hole. The smallest primordial black hole that could still be around would be a trillion kilograms or so, the mass of a big mountain. And yet, they would be no bigger than a proton. What the a primordial black hole with the mass of Earth would barely be larger than a coin. This makes them very hard to find, so we haven't actually observed any yet. If they exist, they may even be the mysterious dark matter that holds galaxies together. Wow, Let's move on to bro. the kinds of black holes that That'd we be know crazy. for sure are out there. Stellar black holes. To make a black hole, we need to compress enough matter so that it collapses into itself. Okay. After that, the more mass we throw at it, the larger it becomes. In today's universe, only the most violent cosmic events can create the necessary conditions, such as the merger of neutron stars or when the core of a very massive star collapses in a supernova. To have a unit to work with here, we'll use the mass of our sun, about 2 million trillion trillion kilograms. The smallest known black hole has 2.7 times the mass of the Sun, which works out as a sphere around 16 kilometers in diameter, large enough to cover Paris. Bro, that's nuts. Another lightweight black hole is the companion to the V723 Mon Red Giant Star. Oh my god. This star is 24 times larger than our Sun, 30 million kilometers in diameter. And yet, it's thrown around by a tiny black hole just 17.2 kilometers wide. What the this fuck? tiny thing bullying the star is so much smaller that we can barely even show them in comparison. One of the largest known stellar black holes is M33X7. It currently spends its time eating a 70 solar mass blue giant bit by bit. As all that stolen matter circles towards the black hole, like water going down a drain. I just like, I've seen so many videos on black holes, right? So many, but like, they still blow my mind at how they work. Like, things go in. Things don't come out. It's just a black hole. Like, what? Like, bro, like... Friction heats it up to temperatures high enough to shine 500,000 times brighter than our sun. And yet, oh my God. X7 is only 15.65 solar masses and 92 kilometers wide, just big enough to cast a shadow on Corsica. To grow much larger, black holes have to either devour a lot of stars, or better, merge with one another. The instruments that make it possible to detect these mergers are very new, so we're currently discovering a lot of exciting things. Like two massive black I can holes imagine. that we detected in a galaxy 17 billion light years away. Bro, that's As just crazy spun to around think each about. other violently, they released more energy in the form of gravitational waves than the combined light from all the stars in the Milky Way in 4,400 years. The new black hole they formed is about the size of Germany and is 142 solar masses. And here we hit a curious gap in scale. The size of Germany, right? The size of Germany. Now, in space, that is not big in the slightest. In the slightest, right? But its mass will be as big as what, like, 
one of the biggest suns. Like it. There are lots of black holes up to 150 solar masses, and then there's nothing nuts. for a long time until we suddenly hit black holes that are millions of times more massive. Oh my god, Which is what? a bit confusing because we had this idea that black holes are consistently growing and growing. What? But for the most massive black holes, this process is not fast enough to explain their existence today. The universe is simply not old enough for these supermassive black holes to have formed by eating stars and merging with each other. Something else must have happened. To explain how we got the largest black holes in the universe, we might need the largest stars that ever existed. Quasi stars. To get a sense of scale, we can compare them to the largest stars that exist today. Our sun is like a grain of sand next to them. Jesus Christ. We don't know if quasi stars actually what the existed, fuck? but they're an interesting concept when it comes to supercharging black hole development. How bright would that the idea be, bro? Is that the matter in the early universe was so dense that quasi stars could grow to thousands of times the mass of our sun. The cores of these stars crazy. might have been crushed by their own weight so much to actually collapse into black holes while the star was still forming. In contrast to stars today that would destroy themselves in the process, inside quasi stars, a deadly balance could emerge. Gravity pressed the supermassive star together, feeding the black hole and heating the material falling in to such a degree that the radiation pressure. Bro, kept the every time, like, I watch videos on black holes, man, my mind is just fucking blown and turned around. Like, my brain's just spinning. The star stable. And so these quickly growing black holes might have been able to consume the quasi star for millions of years and grow far bigger than any modern stellar black hole. Black holes several thousand times the mass of the sun and wider than the entire Earth. These black holes might have become the seeds for supermassive black holes. So now we arrive at the kings of our universe, the largest single bodies in existence. The centers of most galaxies contain a supermassive black hole, and they are monstrous. In the Milky Way, we have Sagittarius A star, a supermassive Sagittarius. black hole with about <laughs> 4 million solar masses that is <laughs> calm book. and collected and just does its thing. Uh, we know it sits there because we can see a number of stars being thrown around by a seemingly empty spot. And despite its incredible mass, its radius is still only 17 times our sun. Smaller than most giant stars, but millions of times more massive. Yeah, they, because that's so super crazy. Massive black holes are so massive and located at the center of galaxies. Many people imagine them as being a bit like the sun in the solar system, an anchor that glues everything else together and forces it into an orbit. But this is a misconception. While the sun makes up 99.86% of all the mass in the solar system, supermassive black holes usually only have 0.001% of the mass of their galaxy. The billions of stars in galaxies are not gravitationally bound to them. Instead, it's the gravitational effect of dark matter which holds them together. Many supermassive black oh, holes are- Oh, you know what? My brain is just like, I just, I, I can never get my head wrapped around it. I actually can't. I really can't. Like, I'm a massive space nerd, love space. Watch so many videos on it, but and still it confuses me every single time on how it works. And so it should. It, it's such a confusing, just just a, a, anything to do with it, bro. Black holes are just so we weirdly confusing, Aren't bro. Aren't gentle giants, especially when they're feeding they on don't the clouds make sense. of mass in their galaxy. The one at the center of the BL Lacerti galaxy is devouring so much material that it produces jets of plasma accelerated to nearly the speed of light. If Earth were orbiting this huge body, it would seem 115 times larger than our sun in the sky, and we'd be burnt to a crisp in seconds by its glowing hot accretion disk. At this point, Jesus. black holes become so large that stars seem ridiculously tiny compared to them. The galaxy Cygnus A has a supermassive black hole with 2.5 billion solar masses and 14.7 billion kilometers wide, which would mean that if it took the place of our sun, it would swallow all the planets and stretch halfway to the edge of our solar system. What the fuck? It's devouring so much mass and material that it churns its disk into a kind of magnetic funnel, spewing gas out, making tremendous radio lobes towering over the galaxy half a million light years in diameter. What That's the two and a half fuck? Milky Ways wide. Another pretty what? large supermassive black hole sits in the galaxy Messier 87, 
It has 6.5 billion solar masses and was the first black hole we got an actual photo of, or rather, of the glowing gas around the edge of a menacing shadow. Bro, that's insane. This sphere of darkness is so large that it covers our entire solar system. That's insane. And yet, there is a scale even above these kinds of objects. Ultramassive black holes. Who comes up with these names? <laughs> now we reach the most massive black holes, perhaps the largest single bodies that will ever exist. These black holes have eaten so much that they've grown to tens of billions of solar masses, their gravity the engine for a quasar, an accretion disk shining brighter than thousands of galaxies full of stars. So massive Crazy. that they deserve a title of their own. Ultramassive black holes. The ultra-massive black hole at the center of galaxy OJ287 is 18 billion solar masses. It's so big that it has a supermassive black hole nearly 40 times larger than Sagittarius A star orbiting it. This thing defies imagination and is really hard to compare to anything. It can comfortably fit three solar systems side by side inside of it. Wow. Let's end this insane competition and get to the king of kings. Wow. Ton 618, a black hole that we can observe consuming galaxies worth of matter, is shining with the brightness of a hundred trillion stars, visible from 18 billion light years away. Wow, it has what the an fuck? incredible 66 billion solar masses. A black hole so large that it would take light a week to reach the singularity after crossing the event horizon. About 11 solar systems could sit inside of it, side by side. It may very well be the largest single body in the universe, but in reality, it's probably even larger. Since Tun 618 is so far Bro, away, that's we fucking only see crazy. What it like 10 billion years ago. In any case, black holes are scary and mysterious and gigantic yeah they really are after everything else dies and growing larger and larger okay now let's do the trip again from the smallest possible black hole all the way up to the largest bro i fucking love space man bro that's nuts <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Bro, that's insane. That's no joke. That's actually insane. Bro, it's that big you forgot even how big it is. I've because because we keep going, I've I forgot the comparison already, bro. It's it's too big. What you can't even wrap your head around it. You actually can't. Let's try something new today. We can call it Behind the Lies, a short behind the scenes bit about the necessary inaccuracies in this video, because it's not really actually possible to rank black holes like yeah. trading cards. How so? Well, while we've catalogued millions of stars, we really only have good data on a couple of dozen black holes. That's because black hole gazing wasn't really a thing until 50 years ago, and technically still isn't because we can't see black holes. We can only derive their properties from studying their gravitational effects on the matter around them, like the orbit of stars that come close to them. This effect depends on the mass of the black hole, which we can approximate at the most basic level with Kepler's laws. Anyone understand this? A anyone at all? Does anyone understand this, bro? <laughs> but this comes with huge uncertainties and error bars. Then we have to convert mass to size next, which brings new uncertainties. For example, we calculated the radius from the mass using the Schwarzschild equation, which for the sake of simplicity assumes black holes I'm so are lost. perfectly round and don't spin, a kind of black hole that doesn't really exist. The reality is that physics on these scales is a bit fuzzy. So some of the black holes we talked about here may be way smaller or way bigger. Yeah. We just don't know for sure. We it, shimmered around this. It's obviously not two size, you know what I mean? Problem by comparing different sources with different kinds of values and using different mass calculations to arrive at a standardized list that allowed us to be as accurate as humanly possible. You can look at all of this in our source. Really, 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 really good video. Man, I fucking love space, man. And black holes, they just blow my mind. If you guys uh, got any other videos that you want to suggest about space, I appreciate it. Any videos that you uh, found to be like a really good one or one of your favorites, I'd love to react 
to it myself because um i live under a rock and I, all i do is just stream and i don't actually watch youtube so i'm telling you right now i probably not seen the video if you guys didn't enjoy it make sure you do leave a thumbs up we're really close to youtube partners so if you guys can subscribe it will mean the world and i will see you guys in the next video